So boom guys, in this video right here, we have my first PSA return of the year. And pretty much just five cards I sent. I sent these back in August-ish. If you haven't seen this video, it was the video where I bought the Rayquaza Ponchos. And I literally sent the Rayquaza Ponchos ASAP to PSA. And along with a few other cards I thought I'd send just to make a little video today. Uh, when it eventually came back. So I used Turkham Game House. Shout out to my guy. Yeah, you got the Rayquaza Ponchos. Which are, I think to date, the most expensive cards I've ever bought. Uh, like single raw value. Like I think they worked out. I think we pay about 700 on eBay. Uh, where I drove like five hours to pick them up. Go check out my pickup videos. We used to do pickup videos. I kind of stopped doing them now, uh, just because I want to keep some of my pickups a surprise for when I post them and stuff like that. I don't want to give it out too much, like what I'm buying. Unless you're on my YouTube membership Discord, I post in there. Uh, my pickups now and then but yo today is a five card submission but i wanted to say i do have so many psa returns going to come back this year i've got currently two semi big uh returns out there like a 20 card submission and a 40 card submission so we will see some uh big returns to come back in the future i'm going to keep on sending every month so we have a nice flow of psa returns on the channel so we'll have at least a psa return video every uh, month hopefully so if you want to stay tuned for that make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more PSA return videos but come on let's bring the light back down and let's see so so let's get into it so all right so they're in these team bags they're not in PSA sleeves or whatever but come on hopefully you can get something good here let me get a card to cover this so this one is a XY Cherizard uh, promo. So this is, came with the Illustration Magazine. I might actually be lucky enough to buy these back when they were semi-cheap. Like I paid about 20, 25 pound and I think they're like 500 plus PSA 10. Over a thousand. So I did get a return last time. Uh, I sent one of these off and I was surprised to see the values of these. Like I just bought it because it was a Cherizard promo, 20 pounds, can't go wrong. Uh, in that video, I did put the screenshot of the price that I paid, if you don't believe me. But yeah, crazy value. Obviously, I bought these way before uh, the hype or the boom. But come on, as you can see, there's an EX Pokemon Arts Collection. So this kind of came with uh, a magazine promo, which is awesome. Gemmin 10, guys. Let's go. Yo. This is why I love PSA, them 10s are just a lot easier. Like you look at the back, don't know if you can see like even here, just a little whitening, but anywhere else I'd probably knock it down a bit. But with PSA, they're a little bit lenient sometimes. So to get that 10 is amazing. So boom. All right, let's see what's next. Come on. Oh, the requires so with these, okay, we bought these earlier, well, late uh, last year, did a video on it, go and pick them up. It was just basically, I was at eBay auction. The parent was selling there's kids' cards on eBay and auction. I was the only bidder around 700, I think 750 or something like that. And um, yeah, I when I went to see them, they weren't as mint as I thought, like the black one had a, more problems than the green. So I'm hoping the green one, we get at least a nine or something. Uh, but there was a little bit like, let me see. Uh, yeah, there was that whitening there. And the green was a lot better. So if I can get at least a 10 here, I'd be very, very happy. It was the black that had probably more damage, kind of. Uh, but it was an auction. The price I paid was kind of fair. Like by the time I saw it, I was, I was not going to say no. I don't want them anymore. Because obviously I drove all the way. So I took them anyways. But come on, let's see what we got. Three, two, one. Gem in 10. This is what I mean, guys. Like, yo, me and my boy was thinking a nine max on this. Because, look, you got whitening there. There's some bits and bobs here and there. Like, little dots of whitening. This is why, like, with those high-class cards, even though if they might have a floor or two, they would probably get an easy 10 with PSA, etc. Uh, so, yeah, pretty glad to get a 10 here. Like, I, was, I wasn't expecting it. Requires one of my favorite because obviously I used to play Emerald as a kid and I got the Cherizard one in our last PSA return Which I bought for 20 pounds back in the day before the boom along with these uh, But this one I bought last year. I thought like 700 I was the only bidder and the thing is it was a bit sus because they listed it twice because the other two winners when I asked them in person They said oh the condition wasn't mint so they just returned it so good thing they returned it because i got a semi good deal i think the poncho prices have gone up now but i haven't been doing the pricing so let me give you price checks guys let me give you price checks so yo 
So this in A10 is about 1.4, 1.3, 1.2, 1.4. So strong 1.4 to 1.6K card. I paid 700 for both and I said, if one get to 10, I got my money's worth. So glad the green got a 10. I'm very curious to see what we're gonna get on the black one now. So that is a dub. So sometimes those expensive purchases pay off. Yeah, back in the day, these used to be 10, 20, 30 pound cards. So it's crazy to see. The same with my Charizard. I paid 25 for the Charizard. Now it's what, 2K card. But yeah, let's see what we got here. This is the Black Rayquaza, which I really love. So these are the, like the Mega Rayquaza ponchos, of course. So the black one is one of my favorites. Uh, let's see what we got. I love the black one, but let's see the back. All right. Don't know if you can see it. Oh, there's like a dent there as well. This corner wasn't great as well. I think everything was mainly on the front. Like, can you see like there? That bit there. So that wasn't great. And then that bit there. Those I remember vividly. Because uh, when I saw them in hand with the lights moving, as you saw there. Like this, it looks fine, right? But with the light moving, you can see those imperfections. So I'm hoping like at least an 8. But I don't think a 10. If we got a 10 here, that would be absolutely insane. But, good, we got an 8. Near mint to mint 8 then. So, yeah, that was clearly not going to be a mint card. Uh, as you saw, like, really too many imperfections to push it over the edge. But in a PSA 8, I paid, what, 375 each. Um, and, yeah, two people refunded it. They paid, like, 800 and they returned them. So, 335 in a PSA 8. If this was a PSA 10 would be in bags but i don't think there's any psa 8 value i'm gonna put it on the screen if i can find any data listing sold data on a psa 8 version obviously it's an odd grade most of these do get 10s because they are easy graders uh, if you look care of them but the i think a 14 year old had these cards uh he bought them when he was like 10 or something and then he sold them to i don't know maybe buy some shoes he said he was into sneakers and that um uh, but yeah all right let's see last one now and this is the Pikachu, keeping the theme of the Pikachu poncho, mixing up the poncho Rayquaza there and the Charizard there. We got the Charizard poncho Pikachu promo. These were available, so what's it called? The Omega Tokyo's Pikachu is the official name. So yeah, these were available at Omega Tokyo store, I think, as a free purchase back in the day these were five ten pounds and i picked up one or two back then i wasn't going crazy like one or two would be enough for my binder collection and i only had one mint one which was this one in my collection so i thought let's get it graded and because i got the other chairs i'd be nice to have them together obviously these are not as valuable as the big poncho ones there but still a affordable poncho charizard the pikachu uh if you find these at a good price definitely get it because these cards are hundreds and hundreds of pounds whereas this i think raw is less than 100 pounds or maybe mint might be around 100 uh charizard poncho as well i think it's really good even though they were cheap once a day once upon a time and i can't bring myself to buy any more at the current price uh just know like i paid the current prices for these and i've made it back th three times on just the psa 10 there so sometimes it works out paying the current prices but yeah let's go mega Ch tokyo pikachu Jetman 10 i actually don't know what this goes for like i said i bought this how long ago like 2019 it would have been 2019 i bought this i bought a few i probably got like two three I wanted to send my Adidas Pikachu, which is one of this and the Adidas Pikachu are some of my favorite Pikachu promos. Uh, but the Adidas Pikachu, my mint one, I thought was mint, I had dents in it. So yeah, I think I might send it to PSA myself now, but this card and the PSA tends around 300. So I thought I'd kind of throw it in there just so I had a Pikachu poncho in my collection. But yeah, I think I've got one more card coming. So the video is not over just yet. We're gonna wait for that card to come. So boom, guy, got my final card. And pretty much it was sent with some other stuff I bought off him, which included a load of first edition slabs, which I have for my mystery graded cards. So, quick plug, before we get into the final cards now, guys, if you don't know, we sell mystery graded cards on our website. We've sold thousands and thousands of mystery graded cards. We only include PSA, BGS, CGC, and ACE. And at the moment, the stock is crazy. We have like two, 300 uh, PSA graded cards. Uh, like I mentioned, I bought a bunch of first edition cards from WotC for the mystery of uh, Turkam. So that stuff is getting included as well. Only £20 via our website. So make sure to cop on link in the description, guys. If you want a mystery graded card or you want a graded card in general, you're liking 
like seeing graded cards in art here today and you don't want to really wait to get your cards graded or you just want something now and then maybe you want to grade in the future like make sure to check out our mystery grade card make sure to shop on our website uh like only 20 pounds you get a psa bgs cgc a slab for 20 pounds you go on ebay it's around the same a lot a lot of cards in there could be possibly worth more than 20 but we keep it fair we do when we do our mysteries it's always around the value you pay for it's not a chance one where you buy a 50 pound mystery card let's say and then it could be a 100 pound or a 20 pound one when you pay 20 pound for a mystery graded card it's going to be around that value so you can't really lose uh so yeah hopefully you guys want to grab some quick ad before we get into the last card right now so boom Luckily he put it in here, but which way is it? Okay, it's that way. So this is the only English card. Only English card. So but let's take it out of the sleeve. And yeah, pretty much. Uh, where's the card? We'll take this card. There we go. Cover the grade. So this is the world's promo. And pretty much you saw the video where we picked these up. It was one of the best times within Pokemon like just a, such a fun like week i think meeting people from my youtube membership discord um just the like the whole event itself it was just a great event the trade area was my favorite however and yeah just buying and selling with people well buying because i don't sell <laughs> but buying with people from people across the world from america japan thailand all over the globe all in one place and i was saying like that's probably going to be only the one time you're going to be able to experience something like that where you have everyone at once maybe next worlds as well i'm going to try and go to japan but it was such a great time and yeah i picked up these staff promos they were quite expensive cheaper than they are now but still cost me quite a bit if you watched our promo video i did a video picking up the promo sets as well as the promo uh, uh staff version as well so you can see the staff is stamped my one did have a dodgy f however uh from the guy i bought i bought a pack of these my boy graded one of these my corners are very nice my corners are very nice you know it's maybe a top heavy a bit uh but yeah the f was a bit like like you saw the f there but the corners and the back is very nice on this uh so that's why i kept this over a cleaner f because i did have multiple of these apart from the pack i had which all had that dodgy f printing just so you can see there but yo world's promo staff edition so yeah, this was only handed to staff working there and yeah they just they were just selling them in the trade pit i can't lie but three two one yo i just choked yo jamming 10 guys yo i did not think that because i thought this could possibly knock it down a grade um but yeah the back is just super clean like you might feel like this I can't lie there isn't really any whitening on this so yeah i'll take that a jamming 10 staff promo and just to kind of sum up how the epic week of worlds like into this card like i do have the regular one the japanese one and a few foreign languages still that i'm going to grade with psa eventually maybe we'll do like like a world's promo return like i'm trying to do themed returns these are just kind of random bits like i was grading these two and i thought let me throw these in as well uh the value on this i know I, my friend was selling one at, at the card shows so current listed for staffs on ebay is about 730 lowest um uh, buy it now but i'm gonna check sold now you got sold at 700 as well so you can there is some sold data showing that this is a strong 700 pound card so not too bad i think i paid 250 each i had about four or five of these six of these but i sorted some mates out etc so like i just gave it to him at cost obviously it's worth a lot more raw um but yeah i was just helping mates out there and boom I, I obviously i kept one for my collection as well so really glad to get this uh because i never have really anything like this premium like this expensive from these events like because i was there i thought go on then i'll have to grab it so yeah definitely one of my most expensive cards i bought really got like three of the most expensive cards i've, I've already put these in sleeves by the way but yeah, the three of my most expensive cards like these cost about 375 each i think about 750 i paid if i haven't put the price i'll put it there what i paid recently on ebay and then this one 250 a piece some cost a little bit more that i hooked up mates on uh but yeah not too bad though really good res wait is that gem okay apart from this but this was what as you saw this was well deserved eight so this is this is the best possible grade and outcome for this particular card but gem mid 10 on the rest of it yo the results are absolutely amazing guys and i can't believe it so yeah big shout out to turkham for helping me out with these uh best results i could ask for tens across the board there and this one a very very 
the best outcome on that because that should be in my opinion less but yo uh if you like psa returns guys i'm telling you we have about 50 cards out there at the moment plus an autograph sub that i sent last year so i got arita autographs for my personal collection uh david beckham autographs and some other football autographs as well so we've got autograph submission uh and then we have uh, a Charizard submission, a Pikachu submission, uh, and then I'm gonna send the old art submission out there. We've also got like 10, 20 uh, pre-release staff cards, like staff stamped cards. So that will be its own return, which I've been saving for the longest since PSA. Uh, and loads of different themed ones. So we'll do a world's promo one. So like all my world's, pro world's promo cards, we'll stick them together and send that off. So I've got a Japanese, loads of foreign English uh, ones available that I still haven't graded yet with PSA. So I still got a load of those. Uh, Pikachu's got more Pikachu's we can send out. Charizard's got Charizard's for days we can send out. So yeah, if you want to see more PSA returns, guys, 2023 is going to be year on this channel. I've been sending direct now. So you're going to see a, a, a constant flow of PSA returns coming to the channel. So if you like that content, like, subscribe, guys. And uh, make sure to get your mystery graded cards. Link in the description. Only 20 pounds, guys. Give it a go. Hopefully you like it. Hopefully we can get you give you some banging stuff because we have a crazy selection like i said we've got two three hundred psa cards in stock right now in the mystery store so link in the description buy that and guys i'll catch you in the next one peace